Welcome to the Mole Making Studio. I'm Christina Fugis with Mole Making Technology, and today I am with Mike Skadja, who is with SigmaSoft. Welcome, Mike. Thank you. Well, I am familiar with SigmaSoft, but I, I'm happy to dig a little deeper into this. So, all right. simulation. Simulation. Big topic. Big topic. Big value to any shop in Absolutely. particular to be able to prove stuff out before they actually cut any metal, right? That's right. Or the molding side of things. So <laughs> it's life changing for the mold maker and the molder who invested it in terms of saving time, optimizing mold design, processes, and reducing waste. So it's a topic we do talk a lot about in mold making technology. Mm -hmm. Can you share with me the most common roadblock that you encounter when you are approaching the mold making industry with your simulation software? Yeah, so, you know, myself being a mold maker, that's how I kind of came up in the trade. Um, you know, I did see there's a big age gap, right? That's yes. no secret. Um, so when I first got started, I was in my late teens. The next youngest guy was in his late 40s. Yeah. So, I think with that older generation, which is still in the mold making, is you know they were a little hesitant to the technology, right? Um, little old school way of thinking. Um, is it that accurate? You know, is Can it, does I trust it match? It? Yeah, is are we getting the same in real life that what we're getting in simulation? And you know what we've noticed is with working with customers and prospects, you know, countless correlation studies we've done with them, and we've learned that yeah, it really is accurate. I mean, it gets you. Does it get you 100% of the way there every time? I would say no, that would be a lie, but it gets you 95% of the way there to 99. So it, it eliminates a good chunk of time. Um, so one of those roadblocks is just kind of getting some of the older generation to understand that, hey, it's technology, it is useful, and it's coming. Like you have to, yeah, actually, it's here. <laughs> it's here. Right? It's, actually, it's advancing. It's been here. It's advancing, You've ignored yeah. it long enough, let's yeah. get into this. Especially with the current job market, right? Yeah. Everybody's running lean. People don't yeah. have time to do multiple mold iterations. So it's, you know, it's, it's important to nail those things first time around or second time around, not four, five, six tooling moves. Do you feel within a company when you're selling, are you, is it a particular job function within these shops or facilities that get it? Like, do you target a specific type of person? Yeah, so obviously the towing engineers. Yeah, um, okay. And, uh, you know, I worked with a lot of towing engineers or a lot of buddies I went to trade school with and older guys. And one of the things they love about it is you can use this simulation software. In ours specifically, you can incorporate the entire mold, not just the piece part. Okay. So for these guys, they're able to actually run a simulation with the existing mold design. Let's say it's an existing part and we're having issues, okay. uh, process guys having issues, and he's saying, oh, it's the mold. Yep. Well, this it is almost, all the time. yeah, right? <laughs> it's his fault, it's his yeah, fault. Yeah. But they've noticed that you can use this and you can actually see real life results and say, yeah, you know what? It isn't the mold design and it might, it might be just the part design itself and there's nothing either of us can do. We really need to go back to the customer, customer and explain that in the situation we're in, there's nothing that can be done Got to it. the mold itself. Got right? it, interesting. Almost a CYA. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. No, that's how I always looked at yeah, simulation, really. Yeah. And a preventative tool. So talk to me a little bit more about, I guess, the features and function of SigmaSoft. I real, how is it different from other relatable yeah. products on the market. Yeah, why, so, it, why should they pick this? Yeah, so you know there are obviously some more simulation softwares mm -hmm. out there. A um, few things that separate us other than a cool neat features is one thing is our autonomous optimization. Okay. Um, you can run full-blown extensive DOEs in there that are mind-blowing. Um, I actually did a talk on Tuesday about understanding uh, part sensitivity to process parameter changes. Okay. And that kind of ties in with okay, are we locked in? Is there anything we can actually do with this process or with this current mold design and get a good part? Hmm. And so that's one of our neat features, but I would say the biggest thing that separates us from the others and that we've heard from our current customers, people that have switched from other simulation softwares to us, is our support. Uh -huh. Our support is amazing. Well, and nowadays that's crucial. Yeah, it's all of our engineers are on staff, that we have on staff all have real life experience ranging from five years on the floor to 25 years on the floor. Okay. So when you call Sigma with an issue, these guys, they've lived it, right? They've yeah. done it. They know how to help you. They know the struggles you're going through. And uh, so that's something we pride ourselves on. We don't like to just sell it. Hey, here's a couple of little training exercises and you're on your way. Got it. Um, we really work with the you're companies and we support them. Yeah, and not just from you know implementation uh, time frame, but the entire life that they have our product. Yep. We're always there for them. So what, my final question, what is exciting you most about the future of, I, I'm going to say manufacturing, but mold making specifically? Yeah, mold making, so for me, um, you know, I'm a TMA grad. Okay. Um, when I when I went to TMA, it was the first year they brought it back after like oh, eight wow. or nine years. Okay. Because there was a lack of people. 
Um, so I'm really excited for one, the technology advancements that just every day are getting out there, and two, just the younger generation getting back into it. Um, you know, I talk with a lot of the guys from TMA, Jack Corian, and that. Yeah, and just, I was just talking to him. Their classes are growing, yep. and when I spoke he to them, he's 14 right now. It's amazing. Yep. Um, so we've been talking with him, and then you know, I'm just, hey, it's been years. You know, how's TMA going? Yep. So when I went, it wasn't even in Schaumburg; it was still in D Road. Oh. We were in like a little, you know, business okay. uh, conference room, and right. now they got machines, and it's just amazing. I'm what just so excited. What do you so think excited. it is? What do you think's actually happening? You know, especially when I was in high school, there was always that big push for college, college, yep. college, and I think that especially now with college tuition rates and everything going yeah. on with student loans, people are understanding that. There are other ways to earn a good living, and you can also work with your hands and do something yeah, interesting. And another I, option. Yeah, and I, something that always interested me was, um, you know, the parts we were making. You know, we did a lot of medical parts. There's nothing like going into a hospital, you know, God forbid, but you see it and you're like, yeah. hey, you know, we made that. Exactly. You know, we built the mold that makes that yeah. part. Like, it's just cool to see things that you make in real life. In real life. And Let me ask you this too. So being somebody younger, do you, and, and talking with customers and being in shops, is there something, even like the trade press or industry itself, we should be focusing on for that next generation in terms of giving them the skills or training they need? Like once we get them in, it seems that we can lose them too. Yeah. Are, are we, do you think we're missing something, whether it's culture, training, um, benefits? What's your opinion? Yeah, I mean, you know, in our industry, you know, mold making specifically, I would say, you know, you do lose a lot of them, so. Um, and I don't know if that ties in with, while we are a trade, we don't necessarily have a lot of union shops out there, mm, right? Okay. I yeah. mean, you can look at, don't get me wrong, can make a great living being a mold maker, yeah. you know, a uh, uh, five axis programmer. Yeah. Well, then you can see, you know, the guy next door that's a plumber, a union yeah. plumber, and it's like, hey, that's still hands on, I'm still doing something. Yeah. Um, but I, I think it has changed a lot since I went. I think people are starting to stay more. They see the benefits of it a little bit they more. They see a career. They, we keep saying they're seeing themselves as a career professional now. In yes, the, in it's this not just a job. It's yeah. this is my yeah. career. Yeah, I agree. Well, thanks, Matt. Thank you for sitting down with me, learning <laughs> yeah. more about SigmaSoft. Yeah. All right, and for everything mold making, visit moldmakingtechnology.com.